So next one we've got is Ice WM, Ice Window Manager. Looks like we've got all the options for this one installed. So let's download this. So let's have a look. You can add LTO to this. Um, oh, they're doing that by default. Okay, so I'll just bring this all in as it is. And we can install that after it's done these commands. Okay, that's built. It's going to become root to install it. So it says it removes this ISWM desktop package because um, it's been used in the past, but it says it hangs with modern desktop managers such as LightDM. And in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch back over to um, LXDM because. Um, a, it's nicer and it's a little bit more flexible. So I need to stop like DM. And start Alex DM. Okay, that's actually started it properly. Didn't mean that to happen. So I'm just switching between the VT terminal. So it's actually grabbed hold of VT terminal 7 and my session's gone to 8, which may have been because light DM was running, possibly. Okay, so that's running. Um, configuration again, you can send this command to the X in the RC to run it all the time, but it should be able to be found in LXDM. So I'll create these configuration files. You can edit the menu files to suit your requirements to use the new ISW menu FDO described later. There's some configuration about there. I'm not going to concentrate too much on it because it is um this is only like to get it installed and demo it quickly. It's not something I'm gonna be doing using to carry on with the build. Um here's how to create a menu command. If you want to put icons on your desktop, you'll need to install a program such as Roxfiler, which provides a pinboard. If you do that, you'll no longer have access to the menu by right-clicking on the desktop. You'll have to use the ISWM button. And you have to add that to the startup. So we could install this. Um, Let 
and it's simple to do. Let's um, let's come out of here first and install this. To create a menu. So let's try it. Okay, so it needs. Oh, I just created all these files for the root. Okay, so that's probably not what I wanted to do. So I'm going to delete that directory. Let's do a V on that. Didn't actually do it, I don't think. Let's have a look. I s no, I didn't. So right, that's better. Okay. Now I'll do these as the kernel text user, and now I can run this command because the directory now exists. And what I'll do is I'll quit this, come out of here, I'll go to the login manager and this time I'm going to select ISWM and log into that. And there it is. So at the moment it says you should be able to right click the desktop to get a menu up, which we are. That's working fine. We've got four virtual desktops here. I'm not sure what these other things do. Okay, they haven't got icons here, so web browser, let's click that. It's not working. Next term is, so uh, again, maybe it doesn't recognize Falcon, or maybe Falcon needs to be rebuilt to be recognized. Um, let's have a look under network, web browser. Oh, no, it has recognized it here, okay. And it's placed it, Falcon's recognized where it was last used from. And in fact, I could resize this just to fit this screen. Um, got some little graphs here showing network usage, memory usage, and CPU load, so that's quite useful to have. So let's install, I might carry on with this here actually, it's quite a nice little interface. So I need to get up a terminal. There's another one here called UX term. And I'll use the X term we've been using. So I'll just I'll be able to drag this like normal now. And I'm going to change the font. I can't remember which button to press. It's huge, too big. Let's resize it. Okay, so I'll install this rocks filer now. Okay, source forge again. Keep getting caught out by it. Alright, it's going to the one that gets stuck, so I'll go to this managed way one. And save it. Okay, the window's just a little bit too big. Obviously, because I resized the font. Better. Right, I'll just notice this is 79 characters wide, it comes up with different size. So, what I shall actually do is just reduce the font to large so that at least I can get 80 characters, which is there, and still retain a reasonably large font. Let's get rid of that. 
There's a greeter here. Uh, sorry, that's light DM, isn't it? Uh, right, need the notify support. I'm sure that's in the um, kernel already, but if you remember, we can do um, cat of the config file. Okay, now my keyboard's not set up properly in this X term. Um, and grep for that value. And you can see it's already set to yes, so I don't need to go into the kernel and check. So let's change into this. On these commands, there's no extra commands. And now let's install it. I have to get a moment to click on this other window now because it's behaving a bit more like a normal window. Most configuration. So just some examples here of how it might be used. And I think we'll run this because we're going to be installing GNOME and KDE just so that these are available. Done. So what this enables us to do is just to create files on the desktop as it says here. We just need to do this into our um, normal user. So these are pretty standard. Um, that that's pretty standard that is that command switch terminals control space yeah there's a normal like run command thing there it's got a little cursor flashing at the bottom so I could put something like bash in I imagine I'll get a terminal would I no I haven't it's probably run bash and X, uh, quit so let me just minimize Falcon. So I can still right click at the moment, but that's probably because I'm still running. So I probably need to log out of this and log back into the ISWM session. So it reads new settings. Oh, okay, I can still. That's interesting. I thought it said I couldn't do that. I'll just select another theme, it's removed the background. Um, I don't know if any of these others are any good. Looks like they haven't got a, a background image like that one has, but you can see they're all changing the look and feel of the actual environment. Um, let's get a window up. So you be able to see a bit better maybe that the windows are changing. That's quite a nice environment actually, nice backdrop. And no blue, make it look a bit like Windows 95 if you really wanted to. Crystal blue. So there's quite nice themes here. So I might put it back to the nano blue because that's quite nice. And start the terminal up again. So it's obviously you can see it's not remembering the settings each time we start this. So that does make the 
existing TWM a bit better, but that, that's only because we've hard coded those settings into the startup. Whereas this obviously hasn't got the functionality to remember the previous settings. So I can see there's virtual desktops here. I'm currently on virtual desktop one. So that's ISWM. And move on to the next one, which is Open Box.